The main reason customers come to us is they have the tremendous amount of data that they're sitting on from decades and very, very sparse data sets where things like failure or damage are concerned, but the implications are very large. Pharmaceutical companies are generating tons and tons of data. Those insights could be new potential drugs to develop or new therapies for patients or new diagnostic mechanisms for disease. Companies already have a massive amount of audio data coming in, but they only understand a tiny fraction of that. The solution to this is using end-to-end -end deep learning that can understand a vast variety and have very high accuracy while doing it. We're using NVIDIA DGX Station and DGX1 in our data center in order to train these models. It's giving us the business outcomes that we can barely even imagine even a few months ago, if not a few years ago. Things like uh, three to five times better accuracy in anomaly detection, about four to five times better accuracy in predicting when a particular piece of equipment would fail, or even looking at uh, predicting a rate of penetration in a drilling operation, for example. All of these things get us not just better accuracy, but they also get us faster than any of our previous systems could. We want everyone to become native with the GPU, to be able to use it on anything that they work on. And then that allows us to then immediately jump to the DGX and scale it up and see if it's something that we can apply commercially to what we do. We use the DGX station when we're doing quick tests and would like to figure out if a model is worth pursuing deeper. And then when we know that that's the case, we switch to DGX1 and train for longer periods of time in order to probe deeper into that model. We had been searching for several years for a technology package that was small in format and price point wise could allow us to have the biggest bang for our buck for high performance computing. When the DGX station came out, we were just blown away by what was possible. Building systems that could look at data, think about data, integrate knowledge, that could actually imagine. We could create whole new areas uh, where insights could be generated.